The next generation ArcGIS Story Maps makes storytelling easy and accessible for everyone. I'm going to create a story, a complete story, in a matter of minutes. This story is about a recent scientific expedition to Mount Everest, and it was led by Alex Tate and sponsored by the National Geographic and Rolex. I'll add some of the materials that Alex shared with us, images, videos, commentary. So this is the new story builder. Every great story starts with a catchy title, an informative summary. We can add images or videos to the cover of the story. Here's a striking photo of Everest Base Camp's tent city. So we'll start the story off with an introductory paragraph. And since Alex was part of a team that installed the highest weather station in the world, I'll add a button that readers can click to view the current weather at the top of the mountain. Right now, it's negative 12.8 degrees Celsius, or 9.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmer than usual, but a lot colder than here. So that chart showed us the weather at Everest. It'd also be nice to see the weather across the region. I'll add a dashboard of current weather conditions from the Living Atlas. Embedding is super simple. Right now, I'm just adding a URL, so no code is needed. Readers can interact with the dashboard directly within the story. And in the next section, I'd like to add a simple map showing the location of Mount Everest. We can add maps from ArcGIS Online, or you can simply create your own using the new Express Maps, all without leaving the story. So a default base map appears from ArcGIS Online with a nice neutral background. So anything you add to it will stand out. So I'll first search for Kathmandu, which is where many of the people in the expedition flew in. And I can easily add the point to the map. Next, I'll search for Mount Everest and add the point to the map as well. Here we can upload an image and a nice description for the pop-up. There are a number of simple drawing tools available. This arrow shows the direction that the people traveled, and this text ensures that Mount Everest is the focus of the story. Look how interactive and accessible the information is on this express map. So let's continue the Everest expedition story. I'll add a quote from Alex Tate that describes one of the biggest challenges of extreme elevations, less oxygen. And images make the story more personal and brings us closer to actually being there. The team produced scans of the glaciers at the highest resolution ever collected at Mount Everest. So I'd like to create a new visual dynamic. So I'll add a sidecar. Story maps can display videos from YouTube or Vimeo, and now we can directly upload video clips right into the Story Builder. This is a sample drone video that the team collected. Take a look at this massive tent city at Everest Base Camp. It supports thousands of people each year, but the surrounding river basins of the Hindu Kush Himalaya support nearly two billion people. So I'd like to show this. We can create simple maps, but we can also add maps from Arches Online to bring in rich information. I'll bring in one of my own maps. With the help of Arches Online and Story Maps, we can compose a new map directly in the Story Builder with layers such as the National Geographic base map, river basins of the Hindu Kush Himalaya, and population density. So our new map clearly highlights populations dependent on this region. So in the next slide, I'd like to add a different perspective of Mount Everest using a web scene. We can add scenes from the Living Atlas or from my organization. I'll add a scene that one of my colleagues created showing Mount Everest in 3D. We can view images taken along the journey up to the top of the glacier. 
One of the stories I'd like to tell is about glacier loss. So this slide of glaciers is exactly what I need to tell my story. The dark blue areas are where the glaciers were in 1980. And after 40 years of melting, the white areas are where they're located today. I'll complete my story by adding an image of Mount Everest at night. Not many people get a chance to take a photo like this one. Notice how the peak is hidden in the image. To fix this, I'll move the focal point of the image to the summit so that this photo is visible no matter how you view the story. Finally, I'll add some resources for our readers to explore more. In the new story maps, you can embed interactive web content like you saw with the weather dashboard. Or, if you like, you can choose to have it automatically show as a cool little card. So a click on the title returns us to the beginning of the story. Before I publish it, I'd like to make some quick design changes. It's super easy to customize the look and feel to better dramatize our story. We can change the accent color to best match our, brandings, our organization's branding. So I'll choose the iconic National Geographic yellow and add a logo. So now I'm ready to publish my story for the world to see. Oh, and by the way, ArcGIS story maps are available in 37 different languages. So now, let's load the story that we just published and use the autoplay feature to review it. The story starts with this captivating image of base camp. And here we see the interactive dashboard, our express map with a new design. Alex's quote, and the immersive image of a scientist flying his drone. Here's that striking video, the 2D base map of river basins and the population density, the 3D scene of glacier loss over the past few decades. And we wrap up the story with Mount Everest under the starry night sky and conclude with resources for readers to learn more. Many people read stories on their phones. And stories created with the new ArcGIS story maps look amazing on any device. Here's a story that we just published, which can be easily shared throughout social media. Story maps can play a powerful role in raising awareness, increasing understanding, inspiring people to action, and ultimately, telling the story of our Earth. Thank you.